All right, guys, so let's begin this Pilates session with a good quality warm up first. And we will begin at the very end of our mat. So we have some place to walk forward for our active part of the warm up. Take your both heels together, toes out, tail one under. Good quality Pilates stance. Reach all the way up, long extended back. Take a good deep breath in and exhalation through your mouth. Scoop the belly in and vertebra by vertebra. Gentle Pilates spinal curl all the way back up. Reach coming up. Let's find our first balance. And while we're warming up, let's talk a little bit about our form, about our principles. And of course, guys, this workout is for every level. I will give you modifications. You can rest anytime you need. As long as you stick through, you are good and you will get stronger. I promise you. Put your heels back on the floor. Gently, gently touch. Let's take our one hand on the ground and bend your knee. Open it up gently. Soft spinal extension and rotation. And we just hold it for the few counts and let's go ahead and take it to the other side so hand in the same side leg bend your knee softly open it up do not overly rotate that shoulder of course just a gentle wake up exercises for the backs and legs come on back up and let's find our balance for a little bit longer here reach all the way up extend those arms overhead come on up guys Breathe actively, inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the mouth, especially on our more challenging Pilates exercises. And we're using our principles, our body is strong, long and extended, center and control, concentration, precision, guys, press and flow. This is the principles we're using in our Pilates sessions. All right, very good on that balance. That was something. Go ahead and lean forward. Try to send those arms, guys, along your ears. I know it's challenging, but it's a good warm-up for the back. And my beginners, if you need to take your arms a little bit lower, of course do, but strive for the good form arms along the ears. This is a lot of work from the tailbone, guys, to your fingertips. We extend in that upper body. Come on back up, excellent. And we're ready for the plie squat. So we will continue to stay in our Pilates position and just gently sway those arms to the front. Pay attention to your elbows, guys. Do not drop them. So elbows are lifted and come on back up and arms to the first position. And again, all the way. Inhalation, exhalation, go back up. And you don't have to squat really low whatsoever we just warming up that's it and all the way back exhalation let's do it again in how oh, then we're gonna stay right here watch those elbows we're gonna come up and open guys stay with me back and center in overhead and open and up and center try not to give up guys on your plie squat Stay with me, in up, in open. All right, we're almost through, guys. We have only four to go to complete. Scoop the belly, don't lean forward too much. Reach, side, back, two more, guys. We can do it, and reach, and open, and back. Last one, my legs are screaming already. All the way back, center, beautiful. All right, we're going to take our heels all the way apart and go for the simple lateral straight. Try not to cross over the shoulders. Keep them all the way square, related to your body, and reach up and over, guys, your ear, not up front of your face. In four, in three, excellent, in two, and all the way to the other side. Arm up and over, that head, that ear, slide straight through the side, hip square, shoulders square, all the way back. Good job, everyone. So slowly, wide the breath, wide the breath. We release, touch the floor. We're ready for four count walk with me, guys. So one, two, three, and four. First eight counts, we're just holding. We're going to walk back. 
then we walk back forward and then we're gonna do our side plank in the bottom leg knee to the elbow come on back up i know i can feel it let's reach those arms this time all the way up and over the head take your one arm behind and gently guys press right above that elbow not on the elbow itself your wrist and hand goes in between your shoulder blades do the other side gently right above and your hand goes in between your shoulder blades take it back exhalation scoop the belly ready for walk let's go one two and three and four take a look guys we're gonna keep both hands on the floor bottom leg to the crunch knee to elbow as an option and let's begin the work from other side let's go one two three four almost like you go to the core crew the knee back and again your knee drive to your elbow is absolutely optional in my beginners feel free to go on your kneeling position and hold your plank don't give up we have only four to go all together guys and only two left one on each side all right less is more i want you to keep the good form guys come on back that was challenging all the way up and over and reach up we go for another set of the lateral bends this time hands bind on top above your head go to the side and if you need to undo that hand bind please feel free to do that and all the way to the other side we need a good quality body stretch retreat 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 all the way back all right guys so we're going to walk back to that plank and this time we're ready for the leg pull front are you ready i'm ready you ready here we go point your toes so one two we have 16 total three four five colored bones white six seven don't hurry up eight we have one two three four five six seven i am so proud of you guys eight put your belly hips slowly back down let's straight take your hands a little bit farther and draw your elbows toward the floor and slightly in that's it now on the way up open up and gently rotate your elbows out we're doing it again elbows in and towards the floor you're gonna feel it a lot in your upper arms in out slightly out do it again in soft rotation in in out that's it one more time everyone go ahead reach and take it back up beautiful we're gonna take one arm on the side and give it a gentle gentle rotation look through and take it back guys all the way other side reach in over breeze that is perfect come on back up and we're ready to come back to our plank tuck your toes and you will find yourself in your upside down v or your downward facing dog both hands guys flat beginners my beginners bend your knees and drop your head relax your neck your next exercise is squat back to your plank your knee drive is optional we're going to begin that knee drive at the middle of the exercise so shift your weight back we will do few without the knee drive for our obliques and waistline and begin your squat all the way one front center wrist elbow shoulder stops right so we have a strong upper body and no injuries for the wrist go ahead Squat, guys. Belly towards your legs. Back. And squat, my friends. Press your hands into the floor. And squat. And hands into the floor. Good press. 
All right, we're ready for the knee drive. If you're ready, you can definitely skip this one and just continue to do your squats and drive. That's it, squat. Drive back to the plank or add your knee. Squat, drive back to the plank and add your knee. Couple more, guys. And last one. Squat, forward drive. Excellent. Knees on the floor. We will take our one arm right in the center for the better stability up here. And we're going for the little shoulders. Roll outward, guys. And give me four more on this side. Four. And three. And two. All right. I broke down the sweat. And one, guys. Let's do the other side. So hand in the center and we're gonna go for outward all the way. Eight counts. So it's number two and three and four. Three left, guys. And couple more. That's perfect. All the way back towards the center. All right, we will continue here in the tabletop. So go ahead and take your one leg up. We will begin with a gentle leg pull from the glute. So find the good stability and control in that three point balancing tabletop. Point your toes, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the side, 45 degrees. Ready for that pull? Here we go, one. Two, three, four. I can feel it in my glute all the way. Final one, guys. Slightly farther. You got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and around that spine. Relax your neck. We're gonna do the same three little flows of the pulse on other side. All right, guys, other leg, point your toes. Leg is super active. Bound from the glute. A little bit of lower back there. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Stay with me till the very end. It's a very active movement, guys. You can't let the leg be relaxed. 45 degrees. So one, two, three, four. It's burning really strong. And all the way to the side. Here we go. One, two, three. A little bit higher, guys. Five six seven and eight proud of you let's round that back nice and soft curve and all the way on exhalation back do it one more time guys reach and back all right we're gonna go to challenge our arms do for me a couple steps forward just enough for you to shift your body weight slightly to the center so rather than being in a tabletop, you're gonna be in your kneeling position plank. Your wrist must be underneath your shoulders for the good quality tricep push-up. And today, our challenge is slow release tricep push-up. We're gonna go slow for four counts. I count, we're doing it together. Do your best, guys. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Nice and slow up, everybody. Five. Six, seven, use the arms. Here we go. One, two, three, four, guys. Pull the stomach in. Five, six, seven, and again, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more time, guys. One, two, three, four. I know how you feel. Five, six, seven, Shift it back. We're going to take one arm outside, another straight forward, forehead on the floor, and then we'll repeat this arm and shoulder straight from other side. However, we have to repeat this exercise one more time. We're only gonna go for four reps. Four reps, four long reps. All right, let's take it back. Again, make a quality walk forward. Make sure that once you do your tricep push-up, your chest goes right in between those hands. 
shoulders away from the ears. We're ready for the slow one. And four, guys. Three, two, one. Elbows in, everybody. Five, six, seven. We've got this. And let's go together. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Back up. Do not hurry up. Build in the strings. Build in that lean, beautiful, strong body. Healthy body. The most importantly, we have the last one. Let's do it. That is perfect. Come on back up. All the way, guys. Shift your weight back. Give that those arms a couple seconds of the rest. We're gonna go back for the upside down V or our downward facing dog. Your next exercise today is your dog to side plank, guys. We're going to reach in the dog and do the side plank rotation. And then we're going to switch the direction. If that is too much, you can go ahead and stay on a kneeling position, just like this, and just reach underneath and over. That's going to give your waistline, your obliques, some good work. So we're joining us all the way up there. You can also go to that plank on a side position with your knee. Let's begin. And we reach in, crisscross, all the way up and over. We take it back, we switch the hands. So we can sustain all the reps. We reach up and over, all the way back to the final position. We reach first. Excellent. Up and over, guys. You've got this. Way back. We reach first. Then we take it up and over. And we're already halfway through. Watch those arms, guys. Those arms must be long and extended in that side plank, reach first, up and over, stay with me, all the way back, exhalation, we reach, we take it up and over, we take it all the way back, and we have one on each side, we reach, we take it to the good quality side plank, we take it back, and final one, guys, don't give up, reach, in, up and over, that is it, go back all the way, take with me your one leg up, home the way up, we're going for the lunge, we're going for the lunge position up here, we have some arm work and static holds in the lunges today, if you have knee injuries, you're not feeling strong enough today, you can always put your back knee on the floor, and that's gonna do it. All right, everyone else, front knee above the front ankle. We're gonna reach the arms up and over and to the side. And we'll begin rotations to the front. 16, 15, hold it, lunge. All the way, all the way. Stay with me. It's not the big ones, but it's a strong extended arms. We have eight left. Seven, six guys, five, four, Three, two, and one. Reach, step back to your one legged. All the way, this leg, that's the one which started going for the hip circles. We go one, we go two, and three, and four. Shift the weight away from the shoulders. Five, two, six, seven, and eight fantastic work other side guys reach all the way we're going back towards the lunge and little arm circles for long lean strong arms all right you can put your back knee on the floor or keep it uplifted hip square let's lengthen in the arm first right now overhead and then those long arms you're gonna take all the way on the side we're gonna go to the opposite direction. Don't let the arms get weak, guys. And one, two, opposite direction. Three, four, stay in the ledge. Five, six, seven, we halfway through, guys. One, two, three, pick up the pace. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
reach and extend, step back, take this leg back up. We're gonna go for the hip circles, and here we go, one, only eight, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Beautiful. Step with me, guys, to your squat up here. Reach your arms all the way to the front. We're going for the pull, and then I will sit with you for a roll as a, roll as a ball today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice and gentle and slow, all the way. With control, we did our transition. If you couldn't do this soft transition, not a big deal. We're gonna get stronger with time. All right, let's make our back feel really good. Roll like a ball. That can be challenging if you have never done it before or you're just a beginner Pilates practitioner. So I would recommend you to grab your ankles that way. Your legs are not gonna fly all over and you can always tap the floor. Take a look. You go back and then you return back Tap the floor. That might not be as perfect from the first try, but I promise you, you can do it. Everyone else, intermediate and advanced, you can grab it right here. So everyone, scoop the belly in, and let's do it together. And if you hold your hands underneath your legs on your thighs, make sure you don't swing your ankles. The back feel really good. And beginners, you're just gonna do like this, right? And then you come back you top the floor. Mm -hmm. Let's do a couple more. We never roll on our neck. And last one. Excellent work, guys. Let's go ahead and extend our legs. And today we're doing rollovers to roll-ups. So you can always replace your rollovers to, to your legs up towards the ceiling. And your roll-ups can be done with your knees bent on the floor instead, legs being extended. All right, arms all the way above the face. Your roll up is gonna go like this, arms all the way overhead, and then on the way back, gonna go gently go to the rollover. It might not look like this for now, guys, but this is totally fine, just do the best what you can do, bend your knees, send your legs up over the ceiling on the position, everybody. Get ready, set, and here we go. Reach, one, two, three, and four. Let's go back to the rollover or legs up over the ceiling. Take it back, all the way, flex your toes. Come on up, reach. Every single movement, we start, guys, from the center. If you will try to roll up, starting in your shoulders, that would be very challenging, much more challenging than if you do it starting in your abdomen, guys. Reach all the way back. Mm -hmm. Good work. We have only four to go like this, nice and slow. Take it back. Mm -hmm. Only three together, guys. That's perfect. I want you to watch your arms, guys. Point your toes on the way up. Your arms super strong and long. That's it. Do not give up. We're doing it together. Come on up. And we have only one more after this one, my friends. Come on up. All right, let's do the final one really strong. Mm -hmm. And come on up to the seated position. Excellent. Let's strengthen in our abdomen a little bit more today. So we're going to lift our leg in the seated position. The trick is here, guys. Try not to lean back or forward. The upper body staying at the same position where it begins. Point your toes, it's challenging, and I need you to activate your abdomen. One, two. I know it doesn't look as hard until you start to do it. Four, 
five, don't lower those arms, six, seven, eight, we're gonna hold one each leg at a time. Eight, guys, activate the abdomen and quadriceps. Four, three, two, and other side. Eighteen, seven, six, five, four, three, two, slowly back. We're gonna go for the single leg stretch today, double leg stretch. We're gonna do some holds in hundreds and little crunches on the back in a frogger position. All right, so your single leg stretch is not as challenging as a double leg stretch. So if you are a beginner, you can opt out of taking your shoulders off the ground or you can join us. You can also do it with the shoulders on the floor. But whether you're beginner or intermediate and advanced, I want to see strong extended legs. Here we go, push and pull. We go one, two, 16 total, all the way. Lower back grounded. Push and pull, guys. Push and pull. Push and pull. Nice and strong. With passion, commitment, determination for a change. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, and three, and two, and one. Knees towards the chest. We did it together. The next exercise, double leg straight, guys, or double leg extension. If you're beginner, you can return every single time on the floor with your head and shoulders. And you don't have to bring your legs, ideally 45 degrees, you can take them much higher. So as long as your lower back guys on the floor, I'm good with this. Come on up and get ready, set. Here we go, we have only eight. Big circle and connection. Extend, work on the beautiful arms and legs guys. Three, good work. And four, and excellent. Five guys, stay with me. Six, lower back grounded everybody. And only two left and nice and strong all the way back to the center knees towards the chest good work you're going to take your knees and open your feet is going to be on the level with your knees in your frogger position lower back grounded you can return your head every single time after crunch back towards the floor or you can stay with me over the ground with your shoulders do not lower those legs. I know those legs already tired. Hopefully you're already holding it with me and not making me work alone. Arms all the way up, open them wider. Here we go, grind to one. From the center, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight and hold guys feet and knees on one level team four three two one all the way knees back bring your head back on the floor i'm so proud of you all right guys spread your feet wider my beginners feel free anytime you need to put your head on the floor for your pilates hundred do not wobble your feet your hands your arms super strong again beginners feel free to rest with your head on the ground if you have to or put some pillows or rolls underneath shoulders away from the ears here we go one two three four five inhale one two three four five stronger pumps one two three four five guys stay with me one two three four five exhale one two three four five keep on working one two three four five exhale one two three four five inhale one two three four five forty one two three four five squeeze the belly one two three four five exhale one two three four five and inhale one two three four five six you already guys one two three four five inhale one two three four five exhale one two three four five don't give up on your form one two three four five exhale one two three 
four, five. Inhale, everyone. One, two, three, four, five. Last step. Left and one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, my superstars. I know it was challenging. Take your boss legs up and spread your boss feet apart. Excellent work. Good quality straddle. And go ahead and put your boss feet together. Slowly, wide breath by wide breath. Come on back to the center, point your toes and reach, guys. It doesn't have to be a really deep extension, but I want you to point your toes and reach forward. Excellent. Take your one leg all the way behind. Make sure that you sit nice and leveled and we're going forward for that extended leg. We're holding, guys, for four. For three, four, two, and all the way to the other side. Let's go ahead and take this leg behind, nice and open. It doesn't have to be a 90 degree angle whatsoever. We're going to try to aim toward this front extended leg. Doesn't have to be deep, but we're folding forward. Four, guys. I know, three, good quality stretches, two, and come on back up. Take your knees slowly, all the way underneath the hips. And we're gonna give it a one or two, couple spinal flows. That's perfect. Tuck your toes. Extend all the way, reach all the way across it. Give it a good quality stretch, look underneath. And let's do it from the other side. Don't forget to set a loving quality intentions for the day to keep the body strong, healthy, to commit to do at least a one little change, maybe drink a little bit more water, maybe eat one apple today. If you haven't ate one yet, something really good for yourself, for your body, so we can stay healthy, vital, and continue to help others reach all the way up. Inhalation exhalation and wonderful job everybody super strong eat well recover well as always and i will see you all tomorrow